Today, we have some important and concerning news following the Springboks clash against Ireland in Durban. Our team did not come out unscathed from this encounter, and the consequences are significant. Let's understand what happened. After a confrontational test against Ireland in Durban, Springbok hooker Malcolm Marks has been diagnosed with a tibia fracture and may be out of action for an extended period. Rassi Erasmus, Springbok coach, delivered a sobering update following the second test against Ireland, naming Marks on a lengthy injury list that also includes Franco Mosta and Peter Steff. Erasmus revealed that Mark suffered a little bit of a tibia fracture and is expected to be out for up to six weeks, but it is known that a tibia fracture typically takes more than three months to heal completely. Franco is out for six weeks, he broke his leg. Malcolm, I just heard now, has a little bit of a tibia fracture from when he got injured. Edwell is out for six weeks and Peter Steph is out for four to six weeks. But all will be ready for the second test of the rugby championship, except for the guys who are out for six weeks. Mark suffered the injury in the second half of the test against Ireland during a horrific croc roll that earned Ireland captain Caelan Doris a yellow card. The Springbok hooker limped his way through the rest of the half, having replaced Bongin Bonambi in the 46th minute. This comes just as Marks had recently returned from a long-term knee ligament injury, which he suffered in a freak training accident during the 2023 World Cup, keeping him out for an entire season. The Springboks will face the Wallabies in Brisbane on August 10th and in Perth on August 17th, leaving the injured players with just three weeks to prove their fitness and join the tour of Australia. With so many injuries, the Springboks face a significant challenge in reorganizing their team and strategy for the upcoming games against the Wallabies. Let's hope for a swift recovery for our players and that the rest of the team can overcome these adversities. Stay tuned to Green and Gold Army News for more updates on the Springboks preparations for the Rugby Championship. See you next time.